Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in. Got a little gadget to uh, try out today. This is the new Radio Master ERS GPS. This is a little module that you can plug into existing uh, Radio Master ERS receivers, ER6, ER8, and the GV, the G and the GV variants of those uh, receivers. Now, what does it give you? It gives you two modes to start off with. So the first mode is a real-time telemetry mode that will send back ground speed to, uh, well, not just ground speed, but ground speed, maximum ground speed and minimum ground speed back to the receiver and then back to your transmitter where you can do what you would like with it either display it on the screen if you have the time to look down at your screen while you're flying or you could do other things where it will actually call out what the speed is at uh, any you know at at intervals if you'd like it to do that on a switch and probably many other things you could do with it as well the second mode after you change it from that blue mode to the red mode is GPS logging. If you would like to capture the data and report back the GPS location data at the frequency you would like back to the receiver and then back to your transmitter and the logs on the transmitter then it could do that. And you could do what you want with those logs. You could, um, I'll show examples later of loading it into Google Earth or Google Maps or even putting that data on top of your video that you may have onboard video you may have shot off shot afterwards with uh, something like race render or something like that but anyway what I've got here today is the Durafly MFX now you think this is quite a small model to squeeze it into but no it fits in quite nicely so you can see the the GPS module on top of the ER8 receiver um, the provided cable goes from the receiver port into the out port on the GPS module and then there's a module there's a there's a port on the other side so you can daisy chain these things together if Radio Master come out with more of these types of sensors um, and modules in the future then you can plug them in one after the other so uh, the thing is when you plug in the power to the receiver and the GPS module it has to wait for satellites the, the light uh, the LED Flash is green and will go solid green when it's got a minimum of four satellites and then you're ready to go fly, capture data and get that real-time uh, telemetry back to your TX-16. So let's give this a go on this because I'm genuinely interested how fast does this go? How fast do you think this will go? Do you think it will go over 100 miles an hour? I'm a bit doubtful but we're going to give it a go and uh, see how fast it does fly. Um, left it on for about 30 seconds and it's got the satellites that it needs I actually show sats on the because um, again it's it's another um, sensor value to, to, to get these values you need to go onto the sensor tab first and then refresh and get new get the new available sensor values and then you can use those as you want so if you come in here Sam and you can see what I've what I've got do you see there I've got eight eight satellites I've turned up the brightness, it's quite a bright day today. But you can see I've got eight satellites and I've got ground speed and I've got maximum ground speed. Also on a switch, 2.7 kilometers per hour. Every few seconds when I do that on the switch, it's going to call out my maximum, my top speed. Now there's not no wind at the moment, so ground speed is going to be much like airspeed, to, to be honest, which is good. Um, so we'll get a quite a good indication of how quick this is. I'll do, yeah, I'll do it at straight and level, and then I'll do from a dive. Here we go. All right, Sam? Ready. I'm going to launch with my other hand. We're away. Right, so, Sam, if you want to... Have a look. Running about 80 kilometers an hour at the moment. Really? Oh, I'm half throttle. 88. Trim center. Gone up to 103 max at the moment. All right, so this is a pass. And then I'm 
turning and I'm going to do downhill and level full speed. All right, so here Fast we go. 100. Winding it up. So the top value, maximum ground speed should have gone up. Indeed, that went up to 161. And that was your max speed. And I'm back to cruising. About 100 now. So All right, see if we can improve that again. What am I at now? 140 now, but it didn't increase the max. Did it not? All right, so let's try that out of a dive. Now, what I'll put now is the audible. 161 is top at the moment, so let's climb, half roll, really, it's not, <laughs> really, out of a dive, it's no quicker, I find that hard to believe, but there you go. I'm going to try that again. No, 174 now. Hundred seventy four kilometers an hour, it's telling me it's the top speed now. One more. I make I've got that addiction now. Speed! Where'd you go? You <laughs> flew behind you. You were in the way. No, no, not totally my fault. <laughs> now we're at 174, which is just over 100 miles an hour. Now look at this thing. It slows up so nicely. Turn that off. It's a bit annoying after a while. There we go, down. All right, quick more feeling. So there you have it, Sam. Um, I don't know if you can see that. 174.1 kilometers an hour. That is how fast this goes over, over the ground. Now there's not a lot of, well, virtually no wind. So that's a pretty accurate uh, measure of how quick the MFX goes. I didn't think it would go over hundred miles an hour. And I think in terms of miles an hour, um, but it reports back in kilometers an hour. I might be able to change that, but I'm pretty impressed by that and I really do enjoy flying that. So if you've got not just an aeroplane, if you've got a car, a boat or anything like that, where you are using an ELRS receiver, then you could put this GPS module into that and find out how quick it goes. I will add that if you use the GV um, receivers, with the Vario and they report back altitude. So you could get altitude combined with the speed, which would be amazing to plot in Google Earth or Google Maps. Maybe we'll do that in the future. But thanks for watching. Thanks to Sam on camera. The link for this is in the video description and the pinned comment. Go get one because I think it's a fun thing to add into your ELRS, ER6 or ER8 receivers. See you next time. Bye. There we go. Brilliant.